Hi, and welcome to AEHelp.com's IELTS Test Preparation videos. In this video, you will see a French-speaking candidate who would score a band 9 for her performance on this interview. For this video, again, we've decided to partner with Cambly, a world-class app that lets you connect with a native English-speaking tutor anywhere, anytime. Simply download the app and begin practicing your speaking for the next time you sit the IELTS. And for this month of February, Cambly has been generous enough to give us this coupon code for a 10% discount. As well, Cambly has given us this coupon code to get your first 15-minute trial for free. Download Cambly today. Now watch and learn. Welcome to the speaking portion of the IELTS. My name is Adrian. I will be your examiner for this part of the test. Uh, what is your full name? My given name is Alice and my family name is Couture. You can call me Alice. Okay, Alice, may I see your identification yes. or passport, please? Thank you. Excellent. And uh, Alice, I will uh, record this for marking purposes. Uh, the speaking has three parts. I will give you instructions for each part. Here is your identification you. back. Uh, for part one, I will ask you a question to get to know you better and some questions on a general topic. Are you ready to begin? Yes, I am. Okay. Uh, do you have a regular hobby? Yes, I do. I like to collect uh, postcards. Uh, because uh, I think they are an interesting reflection on culture and history. Let's talk about chores. What are household chores you do every day? Mm, each day I do the dishes, I take out the garbage and I cook at least one meal. Um, this morning, for instance, I made a delicious omelet. Which chore is your least favorite and why? I don't like to dust. It irritates my nose and eyes and if I wear a mask, I feel uncomfortable. Why is it important to do household cleaning? Well, uh, the saying is that cleanliness is next to godliness. Uh, what I mean is that uh, Staying clean uh, creates a healthy and happy environment. If you could buy an item to help do housework, what would it be? Um, if I could purchase any item, uh, it would surely be one of those robot vacuum cleaners. Uh, but unfortunately, they are quite expensive and uh, I don't have the cash for it at the moment. Have the way you do any chores changed over the past years? Yes, definitely. About a decade ago, I used to do the dishes by hand. And uh, eight years ago, I bought a dishwasher. Uh, and I, I have used it since then to do the dishes. That's the end of part one. Now we will continue with part two. For part two, here is a card. Please don't turn that over. And here is a pencil and some note paper. Uh, you will have one minute to uh, look at the card, the questions, uh, take some notes if you wish, and then you will have two minutes to speak. I will tell you when to start and when to stop. Are you ready to begin? Yes, I am. Okay, then your one minute preparation time begins now. Okay, Alice, your one minute uh, preparation time is up. Please begin speaking. Um, a few years back, I had the idea to open a special type of vegetarian restaurant uh, that would specialize in French cuisine. Um, I feel that many people are eating too much meat nowadays and it is not healthy for them or for the future of our planet. Um, also, I feel that many people have no idea uh, how delicious vegetarian food can really be. 
And in fact, there are many dishes, uh, French dishes, that uh, have lots of flavors and contain no meat, such as onion soup or ratatouille. Um, I had this idea because I often see my family and friends eating meat two or even three times a day and uh, I really want to bring awareness on how healthy, unhealthy and, uh, and unnecessary this is. Um, I think this business idea can have a very positive impact on people's nutrition and thinking and also by taking my small role into in reducing meat consumption I, um, it helps the environment as it takes about uh, 1000 liters of water to uh, produce one 8 ounce steak. Um, of course, to make this idea into a reality, I not only need about 100 grand of uh, startup capital, but I would also need a good location, advertising, a head chef. So I'm not sure I will ever be in a position to open my French vegetarian restaurant, but who knows, maybe one day it will happen. Alice, your two minutes is up, so please uh, pass back the card, the note paper, the pencil. And now we will continue with uh, part three. For part three, uh, I will ask you some more questions related to the topic of part two. Let's talk more about business. What is the advantage of owning a business instead of working for an employer? Um. One of the benefits of owning one's own business is uh, control over time and finances. Um, my uncle owns his own business and he can go on vacation whenever he wants. What are the negatives of owning a business? Um, one of the negatives would be the added uh, stress and uh, responsibility. I know that my uncle um, is often tearing at his hair to make ends meet. What kinds of businesses are popular these days and why? That's an interesting and important question. Um, I will need a moment to think, please. Sure. Um, I suppose that online businesses are quite the fad nowadays because uh, people not only enjoy the comfort of working from home, but they also like the opportunity to sell to the entire world. Um, my friend has an online education company and he does quite, does quite well for himself. How have business practices changed compared to a generation before? That's another interesting question. Uh, please allow me a moment to think. Mm -hmm. um, okay, I suppose that during my parents' time, the emphasis was more on quality of product and service. And uh, uh, however, nowadays, uh, businessmen are, are mostly focused on turning on a profit. Is this good or bad? Well, uh, for example, the other day I bought a new pair of running shoes because the ad promised uh, quality and it fell off my feet after one run. So this is definitely negative. Let's discuss work and careers. Many people have three or more careers in their lifetimes. Why is this common? Um, both. Achievement and money are reasons that people switch jobs several times be, uh, during their uh, working years. Um, my dad, my dad, for instance, uh, started out as an electrical uh, engineer, and then he built his own business. Um, after that, he sold his business and he went into consulting. Um, he did this. Uh, 
to make more money, but also to because he liked maximizing his uh, knowledge for the betterment of society. What is needed for a person to have a successful career? Um, I think the main factor for uh, someone to be successful in their career is passion for the work. Um, being motivated by money only is not a lot, and not enough. What is the best way to achieve this? Um, I would say that uh, in most cases uh, people should really love uh, their, their job uh, so that they always put in the extra effort. If a person wants to change careers, what is good advice to make this transition go smoothly? Um, Firstly, a person should make sure that they truly want a new direction in their employment and that it's not just a sudden decision. Um, secondly, um, they should uh, remain in their current uh, position before switching jobs so that they don't go into financial trouble. Um, in my case, for example, I was offer, offered a um, manager, senior manager position before I gave up my administrative position at my last company. That's the end of part three. That concludes the uh, speaking portion of the IELTS exam. You will have your marks in about two weeks' time with the other sections of the test. Uh, make sure to take your identification okay. with you. Don't forget that. And uh, have a wonderful rest of your day, Alice. Thanks a lot. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. So why does this student get a full band nine for her performance? Well, number one, her speaking is very natural. Her diction is clear. It's easy to hear that she does not use templates or memorize sentences from a book to try to get a high mark, but rather her true English skills. She takes natural pauses, uses fillers naturally, corrects herself when she makes a mistake, and it's very easy to understand the pronunciation of her words. Secondly, her responses are complex. She uses coordinating, correlative, and subordinating conjunctions to join her ideas. As well, she uses adjective clauses idiomatic language and phrasal verbs throughout the interview. Finally, her responses are cohesive and coherent. She answers all questions completely, clearly, including smooth flowing examples to back up her explanations. In addition, she joins ideas among answers. This is what you need to do the next time you sit for your interview to get a band 9. Now remember, before you walk into the interview, create a mental checklist. Five minutes before you enter that room, in your head, think, okay, stay calm. The examiner is my grandpa or my grandma. I have to be respectful, speak loud, and in full sentences. I need to use correlative conjunctions, like not only, but also. I must give examples, smooth flowing examples to back up my explanations. I have to remember to use my notes and look at the cue card, not just in my one minute preparation time for part two, but during my two minute response time to make sure I don't miss any of those questions. All right, make that mental checklist the next time you go for your interview and that will surely help you to increase your band score. For lots more lessons like this one, a fully interactive course, six original practice exams, visit and join us at www.aehelp.com and start working towards a band nine today. Subscribe to our channel, click over here, watch more videos, click right here, 
or click our IELTS Hero for over 100 hours of complete video lessons and six original practice exams to help you pass IELTS.